this considered day two? Three. Three. Hey, folks, Mr. Mixdash. I had to verify, but today is three. <laughs> so we got us an early start out this morning. Ran into construction. Ran into, fortunately, we was up before they was up, so uh, they weren't constructing yet. Ha, <laughs> ha. Um, then we ran into an accident, which was, had several places blocked off, and, uh, had several places blocked off, and then they had Route 66 blocked off. Whole section of it missing. Concrete and all, just nothing but red dirt because here in Oklahoma City they have red dirt. Red, 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 red dirt. Oh, you didn't know? We was able to stop and get us some breakfast and find a way around it. What are we in Europe with the squiggly lines and find us a way around it. So uh, I come up here, we're going to take a right and be all back on. I mean, we're actually supposedly back on. We're back on the blue line. <laughs> um, yeah, you're on. We're back on the blue line. Um, if you have messed with the rev rav, I suggest follow the line <laughs> because it uh, it has a few issues, but it don't have if you follow the blue line. So we're following the blue line, and we are going to be doing a, a right hand turn up here. Right. Yep, no, that's what it says, North 50th Street. Not sure what some of these wild juicy jogs are in here, uh, but I'm following the blue line. <laughs> Just them like I was told them to. Hey, there's Scooter Trash. <laughs> scary Scooter Guy. Did you see that outfit? That is a scary Scooter Guy. <laughs> Alrighty. We go up here to, what is that, Lincoln Inn Express, and we're going to take another left. And uh, hopefully we'll be out of Oklahoma City soon. Is that 275? So, Lincoln Boulevard, Lincoln Boulevard, yep. Yeah. Historic Oklahoma Route 60, oh look at that, there's a rod, Tundra in front of us. So we'll leave you right in here for a little bit because it looks like we're getting to the uh, historic side of uh, Oklahoma City. Whew. They're definitely driving crazy around here. Oh, the Presley. Check that out. Huh? Uh, is that an Elvis thing, you think? I don't know. I know uh, he's out this way because I was on Route 66 in... I think it was in Illinois still. May have been Kansas. 
but I got a picture with Elvis and the bike. It was at the uh, Polka Dot Cafe. Uh, Betty Boop in Maryland was there, but I didn't get to see them. I got Superman. So. But like I said, uh, I do want to, <laughs> like I said, no, I do want to thank my sponsors, Road Glide Andy, O.R. Woodyard. You guys are awesome. Thank you for helping me take this trip. This is uh, almost the trip of a lifetime. I mean, it is because I'm actually out here on old historic Route 66, but I don't have the wife, so, you know, they're... You gotta take the good with the bad, I guess. Mom missed my baby. She and thank you to her because she's actually the one that facilitated all this. Um, today, of course, we have the, the Wonder Yankee with us. And back here, we got Mike Bodine. Say hi, Mike Bodine. Yeah, there you go. He's, so <laughs> we're having a lot of fun with these two idiots. I'm telling you what. Uh, but yeah. This is, what I say, Oklahoma City. And it's a lot of stop and go. It's, you get out west here, uh, Route 66 goes for a long, long way. The towns are a little more sparse. Go figure out in the wild west. Uh, but when you do get in the, the cities, they're huge and it takes forever to get through them. Um, Unless there's something to see in the city, I would almost suggest bypass them because it is, you know, stop and go traffic and lights and all that stuff. But, you know what? I keep, every time we go through these cities, I keep turning on the camera, so there's some stuff to be seen. <laughs> Somebody must think it's kind of neat. That'd be me. <laughs> uh... So, we'll go up here and see what this rotunda is. Does it tell me on the map here? Well, I don't know, because I'm right. Oklahoma State Capitol Park is what the name of the place is. So, I'm thinking that's the Oklahoma State Capitol! Let's see how I deduced that. Pretty cool, huh? So, we're going to take a lane. We're going to go around here because it's going to do us a while to see here real quick. My 423rd Street exit only. That's what we want. So. Yeah, look at that, buddy. Woo! That's kind of cool, huh? Was that two road tenders? Or was that one? I don't know. I might have lost count. I think that was just the one. But... We want to do this here. And we want to do this here. Yield ahead. Hey, yield my head. It needs to stay attached so I can keep doing what I do. Well, you guys have seen him driving crazy. And that's like the third fire truck I've seen, and we've seen the cops, and we know they're wrecking around here, so that's pretty cool. Old armory, maybe? But we know they're wrecking around here, so I'm going to shut this thing down and pay attention to these crazies in Oklahoma City. So, uh, from Oklahoma City on Route 66, we're going to say we'll see you in a little bit. Today we're headed to uh, the Conoco Tower gas station. Alright? Stay tuned. Hey folks, welcome to Yukon, Oklahoma on Route 66. Yeah. Okay, Yukon, Oklahoma, I don't get it, right? Yeah, well, Yukon, Oklahoma is famous for one of their uh, peoples. Yeah, we'll say it that way. Yukon, Oklahoma is the originating hometown place of Garth Brooks. I think pretty much every, he's kind of like Michael Jackson, everybody knows who he is even if they don't know who he is. Um, so welcome to Yukon, home of Garth Brooks. 
a lot of Indian stuff down in, in Oklahoma here. A lot of it. We passed the uh, Chickasaw Machin, Chicktaw, Chicktaw, Chicka, Chick, 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 whatever they are. Uh, they had a big old neat compounded but a gate. It's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely worth it. There's a lot of old elective motel over there. There's a lot of old uh, buildings, stone buildings and stuff along the way. A bunch of old stone buildings that are, you know, just the walls standing there anymore. Outside structure. Kind of sad, but, you know, can't save them all, so. But hi, folks. That looks like that's it. about it for uh, Chickstall. Because here is, uh, or for <laughs> Yukon, here is Garth Brooks Way. How about that? So... We're going to get on down the road, show you some more here in a minute. Of course, behind me is still D.A. Bishop and Mike Bodine. He got a sticker now, so if uh, you happen to see Mike Bodine in one of the chats, he's only in one or two, but... <laughs> If you happen to see Mike Bodine in one of the chats, then you want a sticker. <laughs> the Mike Bodine. <laughs> but now I wanted to bring you out here because I love this wide open country field out here. The cattle farms. I think it's awesome. But that's just what I like. Six Mile Creek. On the western side of Oklahoma, so... There you go. A little over 200 and some miles from Amarillo. So, we're hoping uh, Amarillo by evening. <laughs> Amarillo by morning. Oh, bro, sign in home. But I'm not coming up. I'm coming west. That would be out of the east to the west. Yeah, that's why the numbers go down. Anyhow. All right, folks, wanted to bring you in here and show you some of this farmland, even though the trees showed up once we got out of here, but this is what I like. It's wide open. Down through there. All right, there's some more oil wells. Oil wells. Mile high, there's like their oil wells. A couple of there, you can probably get a good buy a few of those there. But, all right, folks, uh, we see some more cool stuff. Yeah, that's the HD Ranch. Ooh, take it down. Okay, folks, Mr. McStash, Bridgeport, Oklahoma, Route 66. Uh, a couple of my buddies have done this, the windmill thing. So let's get you up there above the grass a little bit. A little windmill thing here, so there you go. There's some windmills out here. Like there's an opening, you get a nice view of them windmills there. And Route 40, I think, that way. We're still 100 miles north to Oklahoma before we get to Texas. Woo! Buddy, we got the bugs lined up on the red shield today. <laughs> call me Bug Slayer. They call me Bug Slayer. Bug Spear me. <laughs> no, I just wanted to bring you in here. Show you part of this. This part of uh, this. Uh, excuse me. A little bit of mud there. A little bit of mud there and a, a little woo in the bottom of that one. Uh, but this is Bridgeport, Oklahoma. This is the original Route 66 path through this area. That's a beautiful home. I'm kind of jealous. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and there are several washouts across this road, which I got to watch for because don't make for good. Uh, but content, we'll call that. <laughs> There's another beautiful house. Boy, these farmers got it going on out here, don't they? Of course, there uh, been a lot of oil wells through here. None of them are running, of course. I don't quite get that, but hey, what do I know? I'm not a politician, so I don't know nothing about oil. But, I wanted to bring you in here. Looks like we're still in red dirt. Red, 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 red,
So I just want to bring you in here real quick. Bridgeport. Flat. Well, not flat. Uh, there's one. There it is. Not flat, but straight. Doo! Like Florida only. With some muffies and bounties. <laughs> yeah. Hey, folks, Mr. Mitch Dash. I'm bringing you in here again. I'm probably going to do a turn up here somewhere. <laughs> so I'm bringing you in here again to show you about this ride. Something about this ride. Yeah, I'm going to turn left here. That, um, the badger set this up to be, and, and some people's not going to realize this, but like that's throughout 40, I believe, right there. And, uh, all we're doing right now, and all we've been doing for miles, is run alongside of that Route 40 at 50 to 55, well, 40 to 50, really, with the rough road conditions. Mile an hour down through there, next to everybody on the freeway going 70. Well, what's the purpose of that, you say? Uh kind of a waste it is really because you get to the same you're going to the same stinking place that that freeway is going you're just going by a different path Let's see once again we're just on the other side now but we're running right along the freeway so everybody's like why would, why would you do that that's a waste of Time. I reckon somebody did say, I was just kind of ridiculous trying to figure it out of the freeway at lower speeds. You ain't never going to get to do it and get anywhere like that, which you're, I mean, you're not. Let's uh, see, we've been actual road time, moving time, four hours, and the mileage we've done is actually uh, 166 miles in four hours, give or take. Yeah, it, it takes forever. But the purpose of this was to be on the actual Route 66. I mean, here I am, going across this bridge, 45 miles an hour, getting beat up on this old POS road, when I could be right there, doing 70, 75, going to the same place at the end. Folks, don't forget to check out Mr. McStash's Patreon page. For just a dollar a month, you can help Mr. McStash as he helps veterans. And you'll be joining the likes of these folks that you'll see here who are already giving their support. We thank you. Until next time, folks, remember what Mr. McStash always says. Love on your family. Check on a buddy. When you get back out there, always keep it rubber side down. Until next time, we'll see you.